Hi everyone, um, I'm just going to make a short tutorial here just to show you how to get the Portal RTX Remix hack kind of working in Hitman contracts. Um, it's really just a curiosity, don't expect to do much with it, but it gives you a little bit of a flavour of how this can start to kind of transform these games. And if you're just curious, want to do something over the Christmas period before the full RTX Remix uh, releases next year. I think it's going to be early next year. It's an interesting thing. So, uh, okay, it's pretty simple. And, you know, this isn't in essence something I worked out. I'm just following what others have done. So, on the first video I've made here, I've made a little link to the, f the forum post where I got started with this. So I'm going to go down here and we're going to click on this. I've actually already clicked it, but if you click this link here, it will take you to this page. Now, what we're looking at is user Lord Vulcan. He's been doing this in, I think, SWAT 4. And I mean, look at this screenshot here. That looks awesome. Um, I've never played SWAT 4, but that, that looks great already to me. I'm very surprised how good it looks there. So, if we go down to his post here, he's just saying, just copy these files from Portal RTX to SWAT 4. And you can see there's an image here of what these files are. Now, I'm going to go to my Portal RTX folder. So what this means is you need to have Portal RTX already installed. So I've got that done through Steam. And if you look here, we're going to go through the file folders. So like Steam apps, common, which you're probably used to, Portal RTX, bin. Now, you need to find the files that you can see in this screenshot here in this folder. And so I've already gone and done that and I've put them into... I just, I've just put them in here. Now, there's two extra things here. Just ignore them for now. The, the four files you need to get from this folder are these highlighted in blue. So one, two, three, four. And they are from this folder here. Okay? So you can maybe do what I've done. I've dragged them into a separate folder here so I can just kind of have them on tap and drag them into any game I want to. Now, for Hitman Contracts, there is a little extra step because Hitman Contracts is not DirectX 9. And you can see in these files here, this, this says D3D9, and then it's this is a Vulkan conversion, so it's DXVK D3D9. So we need something else. And again, Lord Vulkan is helping us out here. And he's linking to this converter here, which converts... DirectX 8 API calls to DirectX 9, which is what we want. So you can click on this thing here, it takes you to this page, and at the top of the page here, what you want is this, d3d8.dll. Okay, so download that, and you can do what I've done again, and we can go back to this folder. Let's get rid of this screenshot thing, because we don't need that. And so now in this folder, as well as the four files we've got from the uh, Portal RTX folder, we've also got D3D8 from here. Now this, this goes with all of these, so you need all of these files, okay? It doesn't replace this D3D9, you need all of these. So we've now got all the files we need for Hitman contracts. So all of these. So now, as you might guess, we go to the Hitman contracts folder where the main Hitman Contracts EXE is. And all you're doing, once you've got these five files, is you're dragging them over to here, okay? Which you've probably done a lot of times before with other things. So now we've got everything we need. And so now, I'm gonna show you what it's like starting up, because at first you might start it up and think, oh, okay, what's going on here? Not really seeing much happening. So let's, let's just see what that looks like. I hope nothing goes wrong. Don't be deterred by the fact that things might kind of pause a bit and it might not look like much is happening. But what you'll essentially see is you can see in the top left hand corner, welcome to NVIDIA RTX Remix. And so you'll know if you've done it right if that comes up. Now you I'm kind of just seeing a blank uh, a beige screen here. Kind of, I, I use Alt 
it's X, which it actually tells you to do to open the remix menu, which is this here. So Alt and X. So you've got the menu up. I usually find if you if you open the menu like that, it will then make, as you can see here, the main hitman contract menu appear. I've sometimes started it up and something doesn't really happen. But you can kind of prompt it to do it by making sure you open the remix menu or like pressing escape or just kind of interacting, you know. Um, sometimes when it's going to the start logo thing, which you might not be able to see, it seems to kind of like not really get to the main menu. Um, and if that happens, just press things like all X to get up with the screen remix menu. Press escape, press enter, just keep doing it, it will come up. Um, it's still a bit weird. straight into a level with no more clicking through menus. So you just click training and you're in there. And from here you can just start to kind of, you know, look at things. It already looks pretty decent. I've done a couple of things to kind of make it look a bit better. So let's go into the menu. Now, it says DLSS3, right? So you know to, to use this you need an RTX card, you need an RTX GPU of any sort. DLSS3 is just talking about the very latest iteration, iteration of DLSS, which includes DLSS 2, and for the cards that support it, so 40 series, DLSS 3, so with frame generation. But it, it encompasses DLSS 2 as well, so you've automatically got DLSS in this game. So right now it's running with DLSS, which is really awesome. These old, old games all have DLSS now. Um, now, I put it to custom because I, I just like to kind of tweak things myself. Um, it will start off on an auto level of DLSS. I don't actually know what resolution that is. I, I change its quality. You can do whatever you want here. Um, these are just things of your preference. You don't, you don't really need to have anything particularly set here. Uh, the interesting thing where you can start to play around with things because these are just you know graphical settings you've got light bounce here um, remember all these things here you can change just like if you've done portal RTX um, you can start to change some of the settings here if you've got a weaker card you probably want to put light bounces down and also you probably want to change what the internal resolution is rendering at and that's going to be done through the super resolution mode here. It should be quite intuitive if you're already familiar with using DLSS. Now, but if we want to actually start changing the look of the game, what we want to do is we want to start going to developer settings. Now, my mouse, you can see it working properly on the uh, menu here. If your mouse is not coming up, and I don't think it will do, um, there is a notice about this, but what you need to do is press Alt and then Delete, and that will make your mouse cursor come up so you can properly interface. Before that, you probably won't be able to see your mouse cursor. And um, when you do things like this, you should click on Save Settings, because it will. once you figure things out, you can save settings. When you open it back up, things will be to your liking already. So now I've got my mouse up and I did that with Alt and Delete. So now we want to go into Developer Settings. Now this is where things get quite cool. Now if you want to just start, I, I would just recommend you just mess around with things here, okay? But um, look at the bottom here, you can save settings. Don't change things, you don't know what they're doing or if you want to experiment, just make sure you know what the default settings are. Remembering that this is all kind of specific to Portal really and some of the things are just not going to really do much for you. Like for example, it says player model here. And I know in Portal, if you go into player model and you see this here, it says show in primary space. So that's your player model. And if you click that in Portal, it will show up your player character in a kind of weird way. It's a bit strange. But in here, 
you can kind of see we've got Agent 47 only in one aspect. There's just the tie. So that kind of lets you know he's there. But I don't really know why, because I'm not a developer, I'm just a hobbyist. I The RTX Remix doesn't seem to be capturing hit Agent 47 or, or other NPCs. It, funnily enough, it, ca it captures aspects of them, like the things they're holding, the items. Like you can see guns here. Like you'll see floating guns for NPCs, and you'll see 47's physics activated tie. But I can't get him to show up, I really don't know why. But certain things you might look at and be like, oh, it says player model, show in primary space. That will show him up, right? It doesn't do anything. I have not been able to figure out how to get him to show up. If any of you can, please let me know. That would be really cool. But anyway, if you want to start playing around with lighting, we want to go off the rendering tab here, funnily enough. Although there are some aspects you can play around with to do with lighting here. But what you really want to look at is this tab, Game Setup. So, we're, we're going to talk about emissive surfaces here, right? And this is how I'm understanding it. If you go to sky textures, you're basically telling RTX Remix, okay, what, what are the big like emissive textures in the environments? What are the things we're going to be saying these are going to be casting big illuminations on the environment? They're going to be like a big source of emissive light. And you, you want to what you want to do is kind of think about well what would be emissive like let's imagine there's a sky surface now here it's a bit strange because we're inside so there is no sky um, but if you just want to get a sense of how light can propagate you can just start looking at things and going okay well what happens if I make that emissive like if I'm focusing on this texture here it's like hmm okay well that looks like this pillar thing here so let's click on that and then suddenly RTX Remix is like, well, this is the emissive texture. And you can see it's now full bright and it's actually illuminating things around it. It's actually being treated as a reflection as well. And so just go around and kind of like, you know, this is all just for fun. So look what I'm doing here. You can see there's this white texture with, with a line outlining this kind of courtyard. I don't know what to call it. And if I'm clicking on that, it's now creating some illumination. So you can. You can do other things like you can ask it to ignore textures. Just just read the titles here, like ignore textures. So if I ask it to ignore this texture, oh look, that's totally gone. Same with this thing here. And by kind of doing mixtures of asking it to illuminate certain things or ignoring certain textures, you can change the look. You can make things darker and brighter. And it can give you a sense of some of the materials you can play around with. You're not going to be able to do much more than that. I've not. Um, I've not actually explored everything here, but I've kind of found you're really quite limited in what you can do. Um, but it's still fun to just see how things interact. You can make things look better. But um, I don't really know much more to say because, again, I feel like if you get to this point, you're at the same level as me. You're just kind of experimenting with what's going on here. And it really, at this point, just you should just experiment with it yourself. But my challenge to you guys is two things. If you can work out how to make Agent 47 and other NPCs appear, that would be cool. And also, there's another thing. As I'm going around here, you can kind of notice the game reinterpreting where shadows are being cast from. So, and it's to do with the player movement. So as I'm moving, you're getting these really nice shadows being cast, but they're really it keeps kind of deciding that they're being cast from a different point so you're getting shadows shifting around which is not what you want you want there to be a fixed source of light and shadow casting and it kind of doesn't really make sense some of them do you've got some of these shadows from pillars here that are stable but the game seems to keep kind of inventing shadows from hidden light sources and I'd like to kind of know how to stop that happening but still, look at what we're getting here. I mean, this texture on the floor, you could imagine this being quite a glossy, reflective surface. Maybe you wouldn't want it to be this reflective, but I think that actually produces a really nice look. Imagine going into a space like this with a really kind of polished surface, and you've actually got some really nice reflections coming from these big columns here. So, um, just yeah just you know just mess around with it 
again, you can open up the RTX Remix menu with Alt X. The juicy stuff is Developer Settings menu. And remember, you can get your mouse cursor to appear with Alt and Delete. And then I've gone into Game Setup here, and this is where you kind of define textures for kind of interacting with lighting. Now, some of you might have noticed you can see textures here for Agent 47. And that also is like that with some NPCs that appear. And I looked at them and thought, ah, maybe I could get the game to start kind of um, noticing these textures and I could get Agent 47 to appear. I really can't. It's, the RTX Remix seems to not be capturing the geometry of, of the player character or NPCs. Uh, I'd really love to get that working, but yeah, no luck so far. But that's pretty much it, guys. Just, you know, just have a mess around. It's pretty fun. Um, I'm going to be trying to do this with a few more games. And uh, personally, my aim is... I, I, I actually first was wanting to do this with Hitman Blood Money. I, I really wanted to kind of try and do some remastering some of the levels with that. But I think that will be tricky because Hitman Blood Money came out in 2006 and it was using um, programmable shaders it was using pixel shaders which right now RTX Remix d is not designed to capture things like that it's it's more difficult to do the data structure for all of that is much more complex so older games things like Duratex 8 will work um, so I'm actually now going to start myself once RTX Remix releases I'm going to start trying to kind of um, level by level going through it learning it and seeing if I can actually produce some nice results once you've got things like the AI upscaling being able to define the surface properties of materials and actually placing lights that's when you really have the control of things but um, this gives you a little taste this was meant to be a really short tutorial but I've never really done stuff like this before so it turned into a bit of a ramble but hopefully this will help people out uh, anyway Thank you for watching and have fun with it.